Today we have the top 10 hidden features for iOS 8. Hey guys, what's up? It's Arif Mapfind here, and today I'm going to be showing you my list on my top 10 favorite iOS 8 hidden features. As you can see, I've installed iOS 8 on my device, and it looks amazing. There's a lot of great uh, UI improvements, as you can see with Control Center here. There's notification widgets. You can uh, install custom keyboards, all that great stuff. But what I wanted to show you guys today is some of the hidden features, some of the things you might not necessarily know about in iOS 8. So be sure to let me know if you have any additional hidden features in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe if you learned something new, and let's get started. The first hidden feature that we have is the ability to activate Byte SMS style messaging right on your iPhone running iOS 8 without jailbreaking. The first thing that you want to do is go into the settings application, click right on notifications, go to messages, and as you can see here, the standard default pop-up is a banner. You're, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. It's a little banner at the top of the screen that gives you a text message. Now, uh, normally you'd be able to view it or click on it, go right into the Messages app. Well, now they have the really cool feature where you can just tap on it and type a little reply. Well, you're actually able to use Byte SMS style features by enabling the Alerts tab. So what that's going to do is pop up an alert where you can actually type the reply right in there. So let's check this out here. I send a message to myself, it's going to pop up right on the screen. Now, you're actually going to be able to click reply, and then right here you can either type a reply, or you can use Siri, but as you can see I've got my quick suggestion of yes, and I can just do that, hit send, and it's done, just like that. That's the really cool way that you can activate Byte SMS style features on iOS 8 without jailbreaking. The next hidden feature you might not be aware about is the ability to recover deleted photos. So watch this. Let's say I took a photo, right, and I didn't really like it that much, okay? And then I deleted it. But then I realized it was my favorite photo ever, all right? And I just had to get it back. Well, with the old iOS 7, you wouldn't be able to do that. But now, there's a new recently deleted tab. And as you can see, I had done this twice, but there's two pictures here, and one of them is the picture I just deleted, and it tells me when I deleted it, and it's the full picture. So what you're able to do is you can select the picture and recover, recover photo, and now the photo is going to be back in your recently added albums, available for viewing, straight from the app. As you can see right here, it's back in my photos. Now it only stores it for 30 days. You can also delete the store of photos as well. The next hidden feature we have is the ability to view battery usage on a per app basis to weed out the battery guzzling applications. So what you're going to want to do is go right into settings, then general, then you're going to go to usage, and then battery usage. And as you can see right here, you can see the amount of usage and standby minutes. But also, this is the part you really want to look at. This is going to show you on a per app basis how much battery you're using. So as you can see, I spent a lot of time on the home and lock screen, mostly because I was doing all of the reviews at the beginning. But you can also see how much background activity was used up by the messages application. And when I start playing some games on here, I'm definitely going to see some of the big battery hogs. Uh, so this is a great way to be able to weed out the applications that are using a lot of your battery. If you want to learn more about how to save battery in iOS 8, be sure to check out my iOS 8 Save Battery Life video. You can check out the link right in the annotation link or down in the description. All right, on to the next hidden feature. The next hidden feature we have is really quick, but still very useful to use. If you go into Safari, sometimes it can be pretty annoying to have to view the mobile view of websites. Well, there's a new way to request desktop sites in iOS 8. First, you're going to tap the URL up at the top of the screen. Then you're going to swipe down, and that will show you the Request Desktop Site button. All you got to do is press that, and all of the mobile websites that you're viewing will turn into their desktop counterparts, which sometimes be very useful if you're trying to access features not available on the mobile version. As you can see, it's a very small hidden feature, but very powerful at the same time, because it's very handy when it's needed. 
The next feature that we have is the ability to turn your entire iPhone UI grayscale. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the settings application, general, accessibility, and then as you can see right here, grayscale. So this has been added into iOS 8. Now it doesn't look like much is done right now, but wait until you see the home screen. Now, by the way, this could be used for medical purposes as well um, with people's eyes. However, it also creates this really cool hipster old style look to it. And check this out right here. If we go down into the home screen, as you can see, everything has loaded in grayscale. Uh, so it adds nice, a nice old style feel uh, to your iPhone. Um, and it just looks pretty cool. It's a great conversation starter as well. And yes, all of the apps load in grayscale as well. All right, we're going to take a quick break to thank our sponsors, but we'll be right back after the break with five more amazing hidden features in iOS 8. This video is brought to you by AppNana, the cool app that lets you get paid apps, iTunes gift cards, and more absolutely free. Go to appnana.com slash appfind in your mobile browser to get started. Now what you're going to do is just log in and create an account. From there, you'll receive 10,000 Nanas for using our unique URL. You can use points to get all of these cool apps, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, PayPal cash, uh, and a lot more. There's a lot of great rewards all available on AppNana. Now the way to get more points is just to download regular apps that are absolutely free. Once you download the apps like Hotels.com, you'll be rewarded with free points. We just got 3,900 points just for downloading uh, Hotels.com. For even more points, use my referral code A4458 Five eight five nine. Use that exact referral code to get you 2,500 more Nanas. You can use Nanas for all of these amazing apps. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also click here to watch the full app Nana tutorial. All right, we're back. Another really useful feature is the ability to send your last location of your device before it dies in Find My iPhone. This can be very useful if you don't know where you might have left your iPhone at work or at home uh, or something like that. Or if you lose your iPhone and then say when you figure out that you lost it, the iPhone's battery is already dead, uh, normally in the past you'd be out of luck with Find My iPhone because they can only find iPhones that aren't dead yet. Um, however, this feature is going to be able to send the last location right when your iPhone dies. So the way to access this is you're going to go into the settings, then you're going to go to iCloud and then Find My iPhone. So once you're in Find My iPhone, you're going to see down here, Send Last Location, automatically send the location of this iPhone to Apple when the battery is critically low. And when you select that, it's going to enable the feature, and that can really help you out later on, just that simply enabling that. And also, I recommend definitely enable Find My iPhone. It can really get you out of a pickle, and I know I've had to use it um, at least once, and I know other people have used it as well. Another really cool and useful feature is the ability to insert photos into the Notes application. So if you go into the Notes app, uh, what you used to be able to do is just type standard notes, but now you can actually add photos in. By pressing and holding down, uh, you've got the select, select all, paste, but now the insert photo button. So what that's going to allow you to do is insert a photo right into the Notes application right there. And that just makes it a lot easier when you're viewing your notes and you're able to see the photos and lists or anything that you want to save on here, any pictures, um, because that's really cool because it's the ability to uh, keep all your notes, including photo notes, all in one location. The next hidden feature we have is the ability to delete automatically messages past a certain period of time on your device. And what that's going to do is that's going to uh, open up storage space and make sure that your device is cleared uh, without having to manually delete test messages. So if you go right into your settings application and you scroll all the way down to messages, click right on messages here and you scroll down and then you go to keep messages and you can choose how long you actually want to keep messages in the messages application. After a while, these messages can really add up if you have long, long conversations, especially if you text a lot of people all the time. So what this is going to allow you to do is either save the message for 30 days, a year, or forever. Forever is automatically set. But this is really cool because it adds the ability to uh, delete messages past a certain point automatically uh, without having to manually do it. The next hidden feature we have is the ability to change your social share icons uh, in Safari and any other location where you can be sharing uh, different links and messages. So if you go into Safari here, as you can see, I've got apple.com up. Now, normally when you hit the share option, you're going to be able to see all these different options for sharing. However, 
Something you might not know is the ability to change the position of the icon. Say I like to share on Facebook a lot. As you can see, I can put Facebook all the way over to the left instead of messages. Um, say email is my second favorite, I can put that right there. Now you can do the same thing for add to reading list. Say you want to add it to reading list or you love adding things to uh, you know, the home screen, that kind of thing. You can also go down uh, the list and you can add some of these in closer or farther away depending on where you want them to be. And the final feature I wanted to show you guys today is the Hey Siri feature. Now what that's going to do is allow Siri to automatically come up when you say Hey Siri when the device is plugged in. But it only works when enabled. So here's how to enable it. You're going to go into settings. You're going to go to general. You are going to go to Siri and then enable Hey Siri. So as you can see, Hey Siri. Thanks. And that's all you gotta do. You just have to say, hey Siri. Now, another side note, a little bonus, uh, extra hidden feature. I can't show you because of copyright reasons. Uh, but basically, if you're playing a song, uh, all you have to do is say, what song is playing? And Siri will automatically recognize the song using Shazam, which they actually now built right into the Siri recognition. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, I can't be playing music in the background of these videos for obvious reasons. However, uh, that's another really cool add-on bonus hidden feature. Now, if you guys enjoyed these hidden features, if they helped you out, be sure to subscribe. Share this video with your friends so they learn about the features. Uh, think about getting AppNana. It really helps out the show. Uh, and you're able to get free apps and gift cards uh, instantly. It's really cool. Once again, I'm Alan from AppBind. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what your favorite hidden features are down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.